Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Buffalo Run Casino here in Miami, Oklahoma for Showbox, the new generation. Brought to you by DeBella Entertainment in association with Tony Holden Productions and Showtime. Tonight's action is sanctioned by the Oklahoma Professional Boxing Commission. Commissioner at ringside, Mr. Glenn Burnan. The executive director is Joe Miller. Our fight doctors at ringside, Dr. Larry Loveless and Dr. David Loveless, and our timekeeper, Mr. Teddy Van. Introducing to you the three judges scoring ringside, Jerry Griffin, Gerald Ritter, and David Sutherland, and the referee, Mr. Gary Ritter. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing in the junior middleweight division. Presenting first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with white trim and weighing in at 152 pounds, he enters the ring with a record of 10 wins and two losses with eight wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome from the Bronx, New York, Alan the Dream Shatterer Conyers. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing black and white trunks and weighing in at 152 pounds. His record, 10 wins, no losses, and one draw with seven wins by knockout. Please welcome from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Derek Anders. Okay, gentlemen, you received your instructions earlier. I want a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Both trunks are good. Touch your gloves. Let's have a good fight. It's Alan Conyers. Derek Ennis is in the, what would you call those, pony prints or? Uh, Come on. Cow? Some kind <laughs> of cow? I don't know. Uh, you said it. I didn't. Cow, Derek cow Ennis print. Cow print. on the right. Pretty well muscled. Both these guys, not a big, not big amateur careers, but Conyers definitely the boxer puncher. Ennis more of a boxer mover. But he's got quick hands, and Steve, he should really use it. Really be using that ring. And we see already Conyers trying to close the gap. Well, interesting that the taller guy's trying to close the gap. <laughs> Boy, good smack from Derek Ennis, a good combination. And Conyers hasn't gotten his gloves out of his pocket yet. You see that Derek Ennis, both of these guys, not just Ennis, very, very few fights given that they turned pro in 02 for various reasons, but they really both have to pick it up. And tonight is the start of that for both guys. Steve, I really like Ennis uh, already, just fighting with a lot of intensity. And he's really cracking. He really unloads. He's got a quick jab, and that right hand is sneaky fast as well. But now he's flash footed, and there he gets that jab and that left hand back, and then is happy to trade and really get the best of Conyers, who really can't get it going. And he's, Conyers, the taller guy, gives up a lot of his height by fighting low, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, we saw that in, in, uh, in tape on Conyers. Ennis has faster hands. What I saw on tape with Derek Ennis is that he loads up on every punch, and that can make you tired in a hurry. Well, neither guy's been past six. This is scheduled for eight. It's a good point, Steve. That's the way to jab. He's really stuffing the jab, is Ennis. And Conyers, my criticism of him is that he doesn't handle movement well. And Ennis is making it simple by laying against the ropes there. But now as he uses the ring, it's an 18-foot ring here in Miami, Oklahoma, Conyers will have to cut him off. He definitely thinks he's the bigger, stronger guy. And he got hit in the exchange. But a nice left hook rocks Conyers back. And Ennis knows he has Conyers in trouble. So Conyers wanted to trade with him. He got a couple of good shots in as well. But he had his world rocked by Derek Ennis with a counter left hook. Nick Conyers thought he had Ennis hurt. And Ennis turned around and landed one big shot. I told you, he loads up on every shot, so he's always dangerous. And he keeps punching, which is the key. But look at Conyers turn this round over. Around, really. Barreling shots to the body. And now it's Ennis sucker punching him just wooing Conyers in, maybe lulling him to sleep a little bit. So a highly spirited first round here. We close in on a half minute. Good quickness from Ennis, good power punches from both men in this first heat. I think Conyers already has to make an adjustment. He was convinced that Derek Ennis was going to come to him because Ennis is shorter with a shorter reach. Got to tell you something. Not the case. 
Conyers showing me a lot, of, lot better hand speed than I've seen there as he unloads. And now it's Ennis cracking back with combinations. Sensational first round here as Ennis Good. eats a right counter just before the bell. Don't go crazy with him. Relax. Okay? Keep your right hand up. He's watching the hook over here. Don't go crazy with him. Bring this. Eat. Eat. Take a look at Kanye's body language here. He lands a couple of big shots. Ennis with his gloves up. And he just looked like he was ready to end this fight. And what happens? Well, Derek Ennis, you saw it right there. Big left hook. Watch where Kanye's gloves are. His right hand is real low when he gets hit. You got to keep that right hand up. Okay, it's the hook is going to work, okay? Let's go. He's almost saying the hook better work. We know Ennis's hook works, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's the faster guy, and he's, uh, you know, he's the bigger guy, too, in terms of a weight. Conyers has a lot of leverage, though. Alan Conyers can punch. Steve, it's real early in the fight, but to me, Ennis, huge edge because he matched Conyers in the heavy clout department, but he's the better boxer. I just know that. But at the same time, or I feel that with Ennis, he's just got quicker hands. Conyers, though, not so slow and methodical as he looked on tape. He looks highly motivated and focused in this fight. He ran into some counter sh shots because he feels he's a naturally bigger guy and he'll be happy to stand in there and trade. Although, we have to point out, he is moving up from welterweight. Well, you just said that Conyers looks very focused. His former trainer, Buddy McGirt, told me that's the key with him. If he's focused, he can really fight. Uh, trying to wing behind that jab, but Ennis wasn't buying as he moves out of danger. Ennis' body's open here, but he seems to have a good sense of distance, and Conyers not able to probe to the body. Now he's trying, but just those little baby taps, and it's Ennis showing good lateral movement. Crossover defense, his left hand is low. Conyers tries to jump on him there and loads a combination. So Conyers and Black doing a good job of walking his man down and trapping him there. And Ennis con content to eat shots. So I don't know if he's hoping Conyers punches himself out. Bad strategy now is Ennis in the center of the ring getting tagged with regularity. He looks about ready to fall, Steve. Overhand right hands and a blast of a left hook from Conyers and Ennis fights back rather than hang. Oh, Conyers just opening up big no, time. No, 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 no. Don't you and look, like at, that. look at the Get eyes up. of Ennis. He's in serious, serious shape. Get up, let's go. Quit holding him. He's in bad shape, Steve. Well, the irony there is Conyers throwing him down. Oh, wow, he's cost himself. If he gets out of this round, it'll be a miracle to me. This is a prolonged attack. Conyers throwing wide, wide shots. Not a bad idea because Ennis keeps his gloves right in front of his face. Ennis not coming back with much. He's desperate now, and he better be. He is soaking up serious punishment. <laughs> and now, now that should have been called a the knockdown, ropes. Nick. The, the ropes held, the him, ropes up, held him up. Instead, he's going to get stopped right now. Not punching back. Ritter always That's in it. trouble. Look at his eyes. That is it. No way was he getting out of that round. Wow. What a super impressive performance from Alan Conyers. He stepped up immeasurably in my eyes. What was amazing about that was how long, it was early in the round that he first heard Ennis, and he just kept punching. He never got arm tired. Wow. Granted, it's only the second round, I understand that. But he never really let up. And Ennis really never got out of trouble. I think he landed one big shot. Steve, I got to give it to Luis Almo, his trainer, saying that left hook's going to land. Did a lot of damage. But those continual right hammering blows, right hands to the head, really drove Ennis back and absolutely softened him up for the finish. His eyes, he looked glazed. It was a miracle to me that he stayed on his feet as long as he did. Very tough guy, but overwhelmed in two here as Derek Ennis goes down. Well, this is going to be a long replay, folks, because right there, right hand. Now, Ennis got himself in trouble by getting on the ropes. But watch how Conyers throws right hands around the guard. See, those are going around the left glove of Ennis, and that's why they're landing. And then you're going to see a couple of shots to the back of the head, too. 
right there. That's very damaging. And Ennis is just in a blizzard right here, and he doesn't know what to do. As Nick pointed out, how did he stay on his feet? I mean, a lot of these shots are landing. Nothing to the body. One or two shots only. Ennis tries to come back, but there's really not, he's not going to stop Conyers with one or two shots. There wasn't a lot on that right hand. At no point do you watch this and go, well, Alan Conyers is punched out. This is a very impressive attack. For the first time, Ennis tries to hold. You know, an undefeated fighter hadn't fought that tough competition, really didn't know what to do. And now we're going to see the end of the fight. Right here, I thought the referee, Gary Ritter, could have called a knockdown. I thought that's what he was going to do. He doesn't. That cost about eight or ten seconds for Derek Ennis. And Conyers just goes right back at him. Nothing coming back from Ennis. His gloves are up, but he's still taking shots around the guard again. What choice did Gary Ritter have? Oh, Ennis just doesn't know where he's at right there. Good call by Gary Ritter. It's amazing it took as long as it did for Conyers to stop him, but it's amazing that he kept punching, didn't get discouraged, and didn't get tired. Well, Steve, five minutes of fury, I got to tell you. You know, Ennis had his moments too, didn't he? Oh, yeah, well, he won the first round. There's no doubt about that. That was impressive. You know, Conyers now, Nick, his last yeah. three fights, KO1, KO1, and KO2, all against fighters with good records. Very impressive. Oh, uh, it sure was. It was spectacular while it lasted. So let's go to Pat Harker to make our first bout of the night official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Gary Ritter stops the bout. Two minutes, 36 seconds of round number two. A nice big TKO win for Allen, the dream shatterer, Conyers. 